Hi, my name is Dan, and this is the Valco Basics. Today we're gonna discuss level switches. The Niva Float NL100 float level switch on the left is suitable for clean and slightly contaminated water. And the Niva Float NW100 tilting float level switch on the right is for basins, cisterns and sewage tanks. The waterproof dual chambered float is injection molded polypropylene with an integrated micro switch in it. The cable is led through a waterproof sealed entry point into the monolithic structure of the injection molded plastic housing. The Niva float is suitable for various control tasks such as liquid level monitoring and pump control. The float for pure water applications can be attached to a rigid support frame or simply hung. In the former case, this raises of the switch can be adjusted by changing the length of the cable between the mounting point and the float housing. In the second case, the same can be adjusted by changing the position of the can of weight. Switching is performed by the switch inside the device. The maximum immersion depth of the float switches is 65 feet. If required, the device can be manufactured with a custom cable length, but in this case, the minimum order quantity is 100 units. The order code table contains the available options, including neoprene cables for applications where a higher degree of chemical resistance is required. Nivafloat level switches are widely used for controlling pumps and failsafe indication in water and sewage processing. In wastewater applications, the float switch must be cleaned regularly, as there may be a large amount of thick sludge stuck to it, which can affect its operation adversely. The maximum directly switched power is 1.1 kW. If the switch power exceeds this limit, a relay must be installed for switching. Nivacon K conductive level switches can be used in liquids whose conductivity exceeds 10 microsiemens per centimeter. The level of the liquid is detected by a probe that is immersed in the medium. Single and multiple rod probes are available. The probes and the tank wall if it's conductive, act as electrodes, and the measured liquid is used as a conductive material between them. Up to four rods can be fitted in a multi-probe socket, with an additional reference probe if the tank's walls are non-conductive. The probe's length must correspond with the measured level. When the liquid's level reaches the probe, it changes the loop's conductivity, and the output relay is activated. The device senses the change in conductivity between the probes and the reference probe, Separators should be used every foot and a half to provide an appropriate distance between the probes. Nivacant level switches have detached and compact versions. The compact variant is designed so that the housing of the electronics holds one or two signal processors, and the probe socket is at the bottom of the housing. In the case of the detached version, only the probe socket is installed in the tank, and the signal processor is usually placed in the control cabinet. These are the typical wiring diagrams for the single and dual channel versions. With the dual channel version, two independent level switches can be created. The single channel version can be ordered with many different power supplies depending on the application and user requirements. The dual channel version, on the other hand, has only three types of power supplies. The compact plastic housing can be used up to a technological temperature of 176 degrees Fahrenheit while the aluminum housing probe sockets can be used up to 392 degrees Fahrenheit. The minimum medium conductivity required for the switch to operate is 10 microsiemens per centimeter. When used in wastewater processing, salt impurities may stick to the probe and may cause a malfunction. The product family contains no EX compliant variants. One of the popular application areas is server parks. IT centers are often located in the basement of office buildings, where flood protection is essential. 
Nivemag MK200 magnetic float level switches are used for point level detection and level control of liquids in all types of vessels. The floats magnet activates the output switch via a non-contact coupling system. The Nivemag has numerous side and top mounted versions, further widening the versatility of the device. For simple jobs, fixed hysteresis models offer an affordable solution. While for more complex level control applications, the right choice is the adjustable hysteresis variants. Models with rubber and silicon sleeves can be used with contaminated liquids. In addition, the Nivemac can be fitted with an MMK tester to check functionality even when the liquid's level is not changing. The housing of the electronics is separated from the tank space by a stainless steel wall so that the medium cannot come into contact with the electronic components in the housing. In terms of lever design, there's a straight, an L and the Z lever, and one with adjustable hysteresis. The parts in contact with the medium are made of stainless steel. The highest medium temperature is 480 degrees Fahrenheit, and the highest medium pressure is 25 bar. The device has a flood resistant and an EX certified variant. There is a version with a rubber and the silicone rubber guard bail and the wide choice of process connections. The typical application areas are power plants, shipbuilding, water and fuel tanks and the oil and gas industry. Contaminants in the medium may block the free movement of the float, so it is important to keep the medium clean to avoid malfunctions. Nivapoint magnetic float level switches are suitable for single and multipoint level controlling tasks in hazardous and non-hazardous environments. The device consists of a probe tube, a float incorporating a magnet, and the housing that contains the connection terminals. The contacts of the magnetically biased read relay is integrated into the probe are toggled by the float as it passes, and they maintain the last state until the float passes them in the opposite direction. Up to five relays can be integrated into one probe. The position of the relays is determined by strict rules, and it cannot be changed afterwards. The housing is made of aluminum, and the probe and the float are made of stainless steel. The float is available in PP and PVDF, and there are PFA-coded versions available as well. The wetted parts of the level switch are made of stainless steel. Plastic-coated versions are suitable for measuring regressive liquids, and ATEX certified variants can be used with explosive materials. The properties of the measured medium and the environment determine which float and process connection has to be used. The mini version of the Nivapoint magnetic float level switch is suitable for small tanks. Its small size and easy mounting make it perfect for appliances and tanks using process connections originally made for a different purpose. Nivapoint switches can only be used in the food industry under limited conditions. Just like many other level switches, the Niva Point is also sensitive to solid and pasty contaminants. Thank you for watching. This concludes the first part of Nivalco's level switches. Stay tuned for part 2. The presentation was compiled by Laszlo Chomor, and we hope it will help you find the right device.